Hey everybody, it's Jeremy Blanton with Two Tank Consulting, and I'm here with a client today, and um, they've just got set up a brand new IDX Broker Platinum account, and I'm going to show them a little bit about how to get this all integrated into their custom WordPress site, how to start creating those custom searches, how to create widgets to embed into the pages of their WordPress site, and um, just show you all how easy it is to use this great platform. Um, so I'm already logged into the backside of their IDX Platinum uh, site here. And um, one of the first things that we want to do is I want to show them how to create widgets. Um, and by widgets, I'm talking about a tiled showcase of um, properties that you can upload into your community page that you've created in your WordPress site. Um, so Mike, first tell me what is one of the areas that you target a lot with your business? So uh, Redwood City. OK. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to do uh, show the highest uh, value and show the lowest value on the same page. Okay, and any specific area in Redwood City, maybe like Farm Hill Estates, Oregon Ranch, um, any of those areas? Exactly. Yeah, okay. let's, pick on, let's pick on one of those areas. Okay, so let me show you how to do first. We're going to create this widget and put it in. So you want to go here in your dashboard and click on the designs. And when you do, it's going to show you over here widgets. And so we're just going to click on the widgets tab and you'll see we can manage current ones that we have or we can create a new one. So we're just going to create a new one for Farm Hill Estates in Redwood City. Okay, so I'm going to click the create button. And so where we did is went to designs, widgets, create. Then we're going to select the type of widget. We want to create what's called a showcase. The showcase is going to take some of your properties and tile them on the page. So we're going to go here, click on the showcase. We're going to then choose the type of properties. If we wanted to do one of these and showcase our listings on a page, we could just do that and have a featured property with tiles. Um, we could have it be if there's certain properties that we love. Um, maybe somebody else in our office said, hey, if you sell one of these, we'll give you an extra referral or something like that. You could do that. But in our case, we want to do a custom search. So we're going to go right here, click on the custom search. And then we have to choose what type of search page we want. Well, we want a very specific area. Um, this Farm Hill Estates is basically like a community or a neighborhood um, or a little section inside Redwood City, right, Mike? Right, exactly. Okay. So we're going to go use the advanced search function. And you'll see here it brings up and we can choose what type of property. So we can do it for single family, commercial, residential, rentals, um, all different ones. Let's just stick with, for now, the single family one. And so we've checked that. We're then going to come down here and we're going to find our city in the list and so we're looking for Redwood City and oh, I went past it there it is so Redwood City um, we can choose also price ranges um, so we could set a minimum we don't want to show anything under a million dollars so if we wanted to showcase maybe all of the million dollar properties for sale in Farm Hill Estates in Redwood City you could do that you just would set your minimum price we're not going to mess with that this time we're just going to leave it the way it is um, we only want to show active properties so check the active one and then you can choose how do we want to sort it. We want it by least expensive or most expensive to least. Which way would you like to go, Mike? Well, let's just build one right now for most expensive. Okay, so we'll set most expensive to least. And then we're going to come down here below. And we're going to look. And somewhere in here, one of these sections is going to break down into um, specific areas and, and types of properties and things. And um, I'm guessing it's probably under this area. So let's just search here for Farm Hill Estates, and so I went past the S. So there's Farm Hills. So there, there it is, Farm Hill Estates. There you go. So we're going to hit the Farm Hills Estates. So we've checked right now, just like you would if you were using your MLS. Let's just review what we've done so far. So we single property in Redwood City, no price range, show most to least just the active ones in Farm Hills Estates. So we've got everything set. We could pick if we wanted to find two-story homes, uh, homes in Farm Hills Estates with pools, um, all kinds of different ways to search in here. And so you want to break these down as if you were doing searches for a client. Um, they're going to have specific needs, specific requests. And so when they're out there searching, maybe they really want a bidet. And so you could do all homes for sale in Farm Hills <laughs> Estates with a bidet if you wanted to. Um, so we've, we've picked ours. We're just going to keep it a pretty generic right now. 
we come down here, we're going to name it Farm Hills Estate. And we want to show highest to lowest. We need to set a width. Um, now, on your site, it's going to depend on, on the width and what it was built. Um, do you happen to know by any chance what the width is of your, your area on your site, Mike? Yeah, in this particular content area, I can go up almost up to 600. So 590 would be a perfect number in pixels. Okay, so let's set it for 590. We can now choose how many rows, how many columns. So the max you could go to show would be basically, I don't usually suggest going more than three columns wide. It gets a little confusing. Uh, but you, so basically you could show about up to 30. Do you want to show 30 or, or less? How many would you like to show, Mike? I'm thinking I just want one row across and three columns wide. Okay. So one for here and three for the three columns. Okay. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to create yet another widget for lowest price. Okay. Yeah. That's a good idea to do good strategy. So we've created it. Everything's set to go. We can now go over here. And if you want to preview what it's going to look like, click on that yeah. link for previewing it. And there you go. You can kind of see what it'll look like. And that looks good to me. I think we're, we're in good shape going with that uh, layout with it. And so we're done. So now that we've previewed it, everything looks good. You can just go back to the widgets list or create another. Um, if you want to, you can just grab this script and copy and paste it into your website wherever you want. But one of the beautiful things that the new IDX Broker Platinum has created is they now have a plugin that gives the ability to embed stuff real quickly and easily into your site. Um, so I'll show you how to do that then um, in a little bit. But as you can see, what this created is basically a little showcase, three column uh, little thing here. All right. So does that make sense, Mike? Absolutely. That's easy. Okay, good. So the other thing that you're going to want to start to create on your site is going to be custom searches. You want to create things that people are going to be able to go in and um, they're going to be able to, to see a search and it's going to show up. And as you start to create these custom links, these custom pages, if you blog about them and link to them in your blog post. So, um, you know, maybe we write a blog post uh, down the road, a market update for Farm Hills Estates. And in there, you put a link saying, see the current homes for sale. And it goes over to the full search results for that area. And you do mm -hmm. that over and over. There's a good possibility that as you begin to write about that and use all the good SEO stuff, that's going to rank well in the search engines, just that page, and could possibly come up on page one of Google. So there's an extreme value in doing those. Um, in addition to the little widgets you stick into your current WordPress pages, okay? So let me right. show you how you would create one of those. And so you want to come back up here to your top menu, click on the preferences, and then you'll notice here is saved links. You see that little right. button right here? And just like before, we're going to create a saved link. So here you just choose what type of search we want to do. So we're going to go back to the advanced search, go to the next step. And just like before, we're going to put the same things in. So we're going to go over here in the city list. We're going to scroll down till we find Redwood City. Not going to put any price in. We're not going to put any min or max. We're going to set active. We want it to show most expensive to least. We're going to then scroll down here and we're going to look for, which should be right about coming up, Farm, Farm Hills Estates. There it is. So we check it. We're not picking anything else on the page here, just those things, and hit next step. Now, this basically is creating a page of content for your site. This is like writing a blog post um, in the terms of, of pages of content that can be indexed or creating a new page. Um, it can get just as much value. So you want to make sure that when you're filling this out, you use the same type of SEO uh, in it. So in here, we're going to put on the title, Farm Hills Estates Homes for Sale. Or, or I could put single family residence because that's what yeah. we chose. Yep. Or so I could you could put, I could do a search for condos. Single family homes for sale in Farm Hills Estates. You could do it that way if you wanted to. Yep. And you'll see that as you're doing this, it's creating 
these custom URLs down here. This is going to be valuable to tell Google, hey, this is what it's about. All right. Okay. So then you can fill in your mega meta tags description. And you understand a lot about SEO, Mike. So this is kind of, you know, common stuff for you to do. But you put your meta tags description and you can go back and fill this in later. Um, you can put in keywords if you want to, you know. It doesn't really do as much anywhere, but you can put a couple. I would suggest doing it. You can then come down here. You can describe the link. And then down below, here's a section where you can actually write content about this, and it'll put it above the search on the page. So here are all current single-family homes for sale in Farm Hills Estates in Redwood City, California. Now, one of the things that I like to put on this page is as well as something like this. Make sure to bookmark this page as the content updates daily. That tells the readers that are coming to your page, hey, this is new stuff. It's brand new every day. It's updated. It's you don't have to. You're not going to have to worry about finding stuff that's ten years old here, um, which you know sometimes happens with Zillow and Trulia and some of those other places. So yeah. I like to put that in. If you want to add a photo, you can do so by clicking the little insert edit image button. You can embed videos here, any and everything you want to do right in here, and it creates a page that becomes part of that subdomain, which is of your full site. Okay, so is that making sense? Right, yeah. Awesome. So then just simply hit the save and create another link or save and manage and you're done. So we're going to say it's save and manage. And you'll want to go back to that page later and, and edit it. And you do the same thing. Just go to the save links, hit the manage, and you'll come to this list as you start to create it. And if uh -huh. we want to preview it and see what it looks like, we can click on the preview. And you'll see here are all the current homes that are for sale in there. Pretty cool. So as a strategy, I want to create a search like this for every one of my neighborhoods. I want to create a search like this for all of the different segments. Yeah, uh, I would suggest theoretically condos, theoretically. Short sales, foreclosures, so short sales, foreclosures, condominiums. Break it down to the price points. I have a client, um, and, and let me pull up her, her link here a minute. Um, it's on the bottom of her website. One of my other clients who she said, you know what? I want to get a bunch of this done. So we created these custom searches and you'll see here a list of them all. So we did things like not only just by condos in an area, but we did one bedroom condos, two bedroom condos, three bedroom condos. We did townhouses, one, two, three. We did condos for sale in this area in a price range, um, foreclosures, short sales, all basically the sky's the limit. Think of it like the searches that you get asked day to day by a client. They don't just say, hey, I want to buy a house in Farm Hill Estates. They say, I need a three bedroom house in Farm Hill Estates. My max price I can spend is $800,000. Um, you know, and so those type of searches, you want to create them because it brings in a lot of value with long tail SEO. And okay? so when I create searches, how did how did you get these on this one page? They will automatically populate here, okay? Once I save the search. Once you save the search, yep. And so if we go over here to your site. Now, I, I might need to go in and refresh it because it just went in. But let's just see here. So here you see the link's already in, custom Redwood City Home Search. And there it is, single family homes for sale in, Red, in Farm Hills Estates. We can click on it, and there's the same properties. So you right. can access it right there. And so now let me show you the next step, which would be inside your WordPress site. We want to create a page for Farm Hills Estate, right? And we want to share some information, right? So right. you know how to create pages in your site. Uh, just come in here. Let's hit Add New. And we'll just title this. And so here you would put in your information, you know, Redwood City has some great communities. One of my favorites is Farm Hills 
<laughs> states, yada, yada, yada. You can do all that kind you can of stuff. You put your pictures in here, all that good stuff that you'd want to do, um, and put it all in here. Now, we want to take, remember, we created that showcase where we have those three properties. Our three widgets. He, yep. Here are three of the most expensive homes for sale currently in Farm Hills Estates. Okay, so now we want to insert that. If you notice up here on your, your menu bar, you see the little button that says IDX? Mm -hmm. So we're just going to click that. And it'll show you, here's the basic system links that are, that are in there on the site already. Okay, great. If we go over to the save links, Here's the one that we created. So if we want to put just a link in here, which I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And then the last one here is widgets. So we're going to come in here and find here's our Redwood City quick search page. Okay. You see it right there? Redwood right. City. So we click the insert. It sticks it there. And let's just preview the page. And now I might have to refresh. Sometimes my Google Chrome doesn't like it. Um, first time through. No. It's coming. Oh, no, it didn't load properly. Let's hit the refresh. There you go. Well, it's coming. There it comes. There they it's are. Just, it's just a little slow, but you can see how it inserts them in. Okay. So jumping back over here now, how do we, you see if you want to then create more text, blah, blah, blah. I can't and spell. And I want to have a widget for the three highest. Right. Versus. There, um, whatever. And then at the end, you'd probably end with something like, if you would like to see all current homes for sale, click here. Um, obviously, well, I didn't write that very well for SEO, but right. you know what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah. homes for sale, click here. We'll make that our link, right? So, well, actually, no, in this one, you don't. So let's just, let's just go back here a minute. So, See y'all, hit the IDX, saved links. Here it is. Now, if you just hit insert, it's going to put it like this. There, I'll show you. And it, that's what it calls it, single dash family dash. It's really goofy. Um, one of the goofy things doesn't about it. Good. Yeah, it doesn't look good and won't be user friendly or Google friendly. So what you want to do is just hit this, saved links, change the title. And now we can change it to say single family homes for sale and I don't know why I'm capitaling everything but I am <laughs> so it still puts the same link it still puts the same search it's in just there. gonna, gonna put We're a different title with pretty. it yep and you're making it pretty so now if we go back and preview our page again it's just starting to load there's our properties and you'll see if you'd like to see all there's our link and if you click on it, it goes right to the search. Perfect. So does that make sense to you? Do you have any questions about how it works? No, that, that's easy. And I could use these in blog posts. I can use these in pages. Yep. I could, anything I want, I can use these in. Yeah, and that's the beautiful part. Yeah, you could write a blog post uh, and call it the most expensive homes in you know, Farm Hills Estates right now. And uh, do that and embed that little widget that was back on, on the previous page here. You can embed right. it and say, here's the three most expensive ones. And it looks like you spent all this time creating it and doing all of this. And it's just something that you created back in the beginning and you stick it in stuff from time to time. Yeah. And so, two years from now, that's still going to be relevant. Yep. Those and it's up to date. properties are going to be current. Correct. Yep. So I'm glad that helps you, Mike. Um, hope this helps others, too, record it to help everybody else with IDX Broker Platinum and how it works. Um, once again, I'm Jeremy Blant with 210 Consulting. If you have questions, you know how to get me.